Hi Year 11, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Miss Bunnell. I'm a history teacher here at Dr Chandler's High School as well as being the Duke of Edinburgh's award manager. I'm here to speak to you this morning about a very exciting opportunity that we're going to open up um, for you guys at the start of sick form next year and that is the launch of the Gold Duke of Edinburgh award scheme here at Dr Chandler's High School. Now, some of you may have been involved previously with the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. Some of you may not have. Um, it really doesn't matter. This is open to anyone, whether you have done bronze and silver, whether you've done bronze or whether you've never done the Duke of Edinburgh's award before. This is an opportunity that is open to absolutely everyone and anyone who wishes to undertake it. Now, what is the DOV award? In case you don't know, um, it is um, really one big adventure. Um, through DOV, you have to complete different sections, which I'll go on to talk to you about in a second. You complete a physical section, um, which can be something that you do already, um, or you can try a new activity. Uh, you have to do a skills section, which can be stuff like playing musical instruments, but um, many other things that I will talk to you about again um, very shortly. You do a volunteering section whereby you help those in uh, the community in a variety of different ways. Um, and at the gold um, stage of the award, you also do a residential section um, where you go away and stay away, away from home and complete um, an activity of your choice. Um, all of this obviously goes in combination with the most well-known section of the Duke of Edinburgh's award, which is the expedition section. Now, these different sections combined together help you to develop a wide range of skills, including teamwork, um, time management, organisation, uh, commitment, resilience, um, such a wide variety of skills, as well as improving your um, physical fitness and your um, mental well-being as well. Um, millions of people across the UK sign up to do the Duke of Edinburgh's Award every single year. Um, and I'm really, really excited to be able to open up the Gold Award um, to this year group. I'm now going to play you just a short clip to kind of summarise what the Gold Duke of Edinburgh's Award is before then talking you through the requirements for the different sections. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video clip. As you can see from that video clip, there are loads of things that you can do with your Duke of Edinburgh's award from the volunteering section all the way through to that residential section, that new section um, to the award at the gold level. Um, I'm going to talk you through the timescales of, of what it will look like for you to complete the gold award. Now, given that some of you will have done the bronze award with us, but not silver, um, or some of you may not have done even the bronze award with us um, it's still possible for you to go directly into um, the gold level of the Duke of Edinburgh's award it just means that you have to do one section for slightly longer um, so it means that your volunteering section will be for either 18 or 12 months your physical section there are three different options here um, it can either be for 18 months one of your physical or your skills will have to be for 18 months um, it could be for 12 months or it could be for six months your skill your remaining skill would then be just a six month um, time period. Um, your expedition is still going to be four days and three nights like the gold ward if you had done silver and your residential will be five days and four nights. Now, if you have um, done silver, uh, these time periods are reduced slightly. You'll do 12 months for your volunteering and then 12 months for either your physical or your skill and then you'll do six months for the remaining one. 
Um, an example for you down here of what I might do if I hadn't done the silver award, I would have to do 12, I would choose 12 months volunteering because this isn't, isn't necessarily something I do already. So I'll complete it for 12 months a year um, as that seems quite manageable. I might choose to do um, my physical section for 18 months because I already take part in hockey, which can count for my physical skill. Um, so I might choose to do that for the extra six months for the 18 months. Um, and then I would do uh, my skill for the shorter time period um, of six months. If you do silver, if you have done silver already, um, it means that you don't have to do quite as long to complete your um, different activity sections for the gold award. Um, it would take you 12 months for your volunteering still. Um, you then choose out of your physical and skill, one of them you will do for 12 months and one of them you would do for six months. However, like I've said, the expedition and residential sections remain the same for both. So let's go on to talk about the different sections then. Um, I've put up at the top of each of these sections a link um, to the DOV website for some ideas that you think of things that you can do for your volunteering. Um, it really is up to you. It could be volunteering as in a kind of leadership role. Um, so it might be a leader of a local sports team doing some kind of coaching. Um, you could do um, some tutoring um, of, of some um children uh, that are younger than you to help them progress academically. Um, you could um, walk uh, a neighbour's dog, for example. Um, lots of different things to help out in the community as well as more traditional stuff such as working in a charity shops or working with charity organisations. Um, this skill, uh, this part of, of the award is, is really rewarding for you. It's your opportunity to go out and make a difference in your local community um, and contribute um, back to um, society, which I know many of you already do. The next section that you need to do uh, is your physical section. Now, this is anything that kind of gets you up and gets you active. Um, this is a really good section and many of you will already be undertaking some sort of physical activity, whether it's taking part in a sports team like me, like hockey, for example, or netball, um, an individual sport like running or gymnastics, perhaps. Or it can be something as simple as walking. Um, any of these things um, uh, can count for your physical section. You just need to um, carry it out for one hour, at least one hour. Um, a week. Now, this doesn't have to be kind of um, one continuous hour. It could be two 30 minute sessions, for example. You also have to do um, a skills section. Um, so this can be stuff like cooking, photography, and one that I think is really applicable um, for students going into sick form. And um, once you're able to, um, you will be able to um, use driving, learning to drive as your skill. So this might be quite, a, quite a, a good one to use. You can always also do kind of learning the theory. You might want to start learning the theory before you can go on to drive. Um, so there are lots of different skills and life skills that can also in this section really help prepare you for life after school. So that might be cookering, cookery, learning to cook. Um, it could be you could do an online bus uh, business management kind of course or, or managing your finances course. It could be first aid. There are many, many things that can help you with um, life after challenges um, in this section. Again, I've put the link to some program ideas up the top there um, so you can gain kind of have a look and see if there are anything that you would like to undertake. And then we have the expedition section. Um, so just like bronze, um, you'll be working um, in a group, in a team. Um, the difference is the terrain will be slightly different, slightly more challenging, maybe somewhere like the Brecon Beacons or the Lake District, for example. Um, so a much more challenging terrain. Um, it's longer, um, so um, you're, you're out there for four days, three nights. Um, and there will hopefully by this stage be the camping elements. Now, obviously all this being said, and we don't know where we'll be in, in what position we'll be in when it comes to comes around to your expedition um, or the start of this gold award. But given what happened with your group last year um, uh, with the bronze award, um, you're all aware that the Duke of Edinburgh scheme kind of builds in adaptations to allow um, the award to continue no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in. So if we find ourselves in a situation whereby we have to adapt the expedition, um, meaning that you maybe couldn't sleep overnight or meaning that we couldn't go as far afield, that would still be possible. So you'll still be able to complete this gold award um, if if we have to make adaptations like we have done previously, as you guys experienced. Now, this expedition section will be challenging, but in, in a nice way, and you'll get to encounter some wonderful scenery. It will help your communication, leadership skills, teamwork, all of these things. Um, 
and it will certainly be an experience you won't forget. I thoroughly enjoyed um, going on my gold um, DOV expedition. Um, it found it really hugely rewarding. I got some amazing pictures of the local scenery and I carried out, um, you have to have an aim for your expedition and mine was investigating kind of tourism in the local in the local area. Um, so you could pick something like that or you might focus instead on nature walks or a variety of different things. Now, the new section for the Gold Award um, that is different from either bronze or silver is this residential section. Um, this is a really exciting and fun experience when you spend five days and four nights away from home on an activity um, with people that you've not met before. Um, again, this is really good preparation for um, life after school, setting up for um, these new experiences. Um, it could be learning a physical skill like snowboarding, for example. It could be helping at a children's camp. Um, in the UK or even abroad if we're allowed to by this by this point in time. You'll get to be able to work with some new people and learn some new skills that can be really beneficial to you later on. Now, part of this residential section is finding um, a, finding a place somewhere. Now, the GOV has a really excellent resource to help you with this. Um, um, and I can highlight this to you and help you find um, your residential activity. However, part of the, the, the process of this is kind of taking responsibility for yourself to find an activity. But by all means, both myself and the GOV network are here to help you find a suitable and appropriate residential activity for yourselves. Um, so why do DOV? One, it's, it's really enjoyable. As you know from bronze, it gets you doing a wide range of activities. It really helps those around you. It can help you be healthier, both mentally and physically. Um, it can help you meet some amazing people, whether that be um, people from school that you haven't worked with before or whether that be new people on kind of like the residential or volunteering activities that you do um it's also something that's really valuable on your cv and also going forward to thinking about ucas applications and universities it demonstrates such a wide range of skills and sets you out from from those around you and really shows your dedication and commitment um to to the activities that you have undertaken and is highly respected both on cvs um by employers um but also by many universities now, um, if you are interested in signing up for the Gold DOV Award, um, I would like you to please fill in the following Microsoft form. Um, you can either use the link there or the QR code that you can see on your screen. Um, this is by no means a commitment to undertake the award. You can change your mind at a later date. Um, and if you don't fill it out, likewise, you will still be able to take part in the Duke of Edinburgh's um, award scheme with us. It would just be useful for me to kind of gain, gain an understanding of how many of you would like to undertake the award. So if you're interested, please fill in um, that form just down there. Now, um, if you have any further questions about DOV, about Gold DOV, please don't hesitate to drop me a message. Um, my email address is on the screen, um, or you can send me a message on Teams, whichever you prefer. Um, I've also included a link here um, for the different time uh, timescales for DOV if you want to have a further look on the DOV website. Um, but if there is anything further that I can help you with, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Thank you for your time this morning, Year 11. Um, I hope that many of you want to sign up to do Gold DOV with us. Um, it really is uh, such an amazing experience and I'm thrilled to be able to offer this opportunity to you. Um, thank you very much.